Hi, guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Effects Giving Crew. take a little break and do a quick reading for you guys. I'm in uh, Vancouver right now taking a course so I'm like super tired of studying and I don't want to do a fucking thing but relax so you guys are in luck. Anyway okay so I've already shuffled and I'm just gonna mix this shit around. Okay so I don't know I think I'm gonna do my old style of um, reading the Celtic cross with uh, the wings. Okay, so in the present position, we got, what is that, nine of wands. So this is someone who has been through a lot of stuff and they're really, really tired. And um, so what Spirit is saying is, you know, hang in there, the battles are almost done. Um, he's a warrior and um, he's got a lot of bumps and bruises to, to show for all the battles that he's been in and yeah so this is coming to an end or a completion of a cycle of some kind so that's the present position in the um, foundation you got the seven of swords so this is somebody who's left uh, a bad situation or yeah they've um, they're just leaving uh, somewhere in the cover of night so they're they're taking all the thoughts that are important to them and they're leaving everything else behind so it's uh, another kind of completion so this is in your foundation um, for your recent past you got uh, the page of swords uh, so this is someone so this is like a, a me message coming in it's uh, swords represent communication and thought so um, this is in the recent past, so this reading has something to do with uh, communication and possibly leaving a situation. Well, obviously, yeah, yes, definitely <laughs> leaving a situation. Okay, so, and you're really tired. Um, so for the outcome, uh, the chariot, so this is Major Arcana. Uh, the chariot um, mean, is like um, quick moving. Um, it's a success card. Uh, so it's like going after something with sheer will. So you're just going with this crazy energy. See, he doesn't have any reins to... Uh, well, actually in the regular tarot, um, Rider weight, he's riding horses. Uh, but these are lions, and they represent the dark and light side of yourself. So he's driving this chariot without any... Uh, form of control he's just going forward so this is in the outcome position at your crossroads you got <clears throat> uh, this is the three of wands so um, this is a stage after you've done all the planning you've done all the, the work so you're now you're waiting for your harvest basically to come in you're waiting for the boats to come in so that's your next move is to chill out um, what you're resisting is the nine of swords uh, so this is someone who's being who's staying up at night and they're worrying about a situation they can't sleep so it's consuming their thoughts at night so this is what you're resisting which is awesome um, in the internal environment you got the hermit another major arcana so this is someone who goes off on their own for, on a spiritual journey uh, so they, they're looking in for answers. Um, they're looking for enlightenment and they've attained a lot of wisdom. So that actually represents a sun that's lighting his way. So he's, it's like the star of David. So um, he's being spiritually guided, but he's also like a master in a way. It also represents somebody who's um, not interested in you know regular society you know where you're working and 
slaving away. Um, he's happy to go off on his own and and live very humbly and enjoy nature and whatnot. Okay, so in as an outcome for that, oh, um, so this is the Ace of Pentacles. Um, it's a new beginning. It's also like the windfall card. So it's like you you might have a gift coming in from the universe, possibly financial of some kind, but it's the beginning of something. So this is like manifestation of the 3D world. So that is an outcome. So that's a great future uh, for your external environment. Um, <clears throat> the Eight of Cups. Uh, so again, this is somebody who's is a very similar energy. Um, somebody who's walking away from something that no longer serves them. But for the Eight of Cups, cups and more has to do with emotions and this has to do with thought swords are thought so you want to be a hermit and or you are a hermit right now uh, on a spiritual journey so you you've left a difficult situation so that you can heal and uh, you're going to be starting something new in the 3D world in the future. Sorry, these cards are so reflective. Holy cow. Okay, so for the summary outcome, um, the King of Swords. Uh, so this could be an air sign, um, but it could also represent uh, an energy. So the energy would be closed off. Uh, it would be authoritative, um, controlling, uh, somebody who um, makes a plan of action and sticks to it so he he's uh, ready for battle basically but he's very smart very um, witty um, yeah so the king is the summary outcome Oop. okay so for your final outcome you got the Eight of Pentacles. So this is somebody who's working really hard, uh, saving up money. Um, yeah, I guess it just basically represents a lot of hard work is in your future. So, okay. And right, I'm going to pause it and just have a look at it, see if I can get rid of this reflectivity. Mm, okay, I think that's a little bit better. <laughs> All right, so um, I think I'm going to pull some male and female energies as well. Let me just cut it. Cut it again. And just kind of spread it out. All right. So for um, the female energy, a five of swords. Um, so it's very similar to this one over here, except for this one, um, there's people that are walking away from this person. It's like a really petty win, you know, it's um, a hollow win. So either people are walking away from you or you're walking away from somebody. So that is the external environment for the female. So the external for the male is temperance. So this is integration um, of your light and dark side. Um, it's about balance, basically. So you've attained this spiritual balance. For the internal environment for the female, I know where that card is. Okay, um, is the Four of Wands. So this is the 11 11 type thing it's a twin flame completion card basically uh so this is yeah the ultimate completion um you have your beautiful home and your your happy loving life in the internal environment for the male Ooh, the tower that's some crazy shit right there so um, you're going through something heavy by the look of it right now. Um, so the tower represents a very sudden, fast change. Something's crumbling and coming down. 
uh, it was built on a faulty foundation. It was going to come down anyway. So basically, its energy is just telling you to relax and allow the tower to fall. So that's how you feel internally. You want either you're going through um, the tower or you want to go through the tower. And it sounds to me like you know that this is a very heavy reading actually. So um, here you've got this wounded soldier. He's been through a lot of battles clearly. Okay, he's walked away from something in the past. He made a decision, a clear, decisive decision to walk away. And, he, and uh, it has to do with communication, possibly. Um, in the future, you're, you're going after what you want. Uh, and you're just waiting for something to come in first. Uh, uh, Spirit is asking you to resist staying up at night, you're in your thoughts too much, um, use your spiritual guidance, um, be the hermit, go off on your own, you know, you don't need anyone to drag you down, okay, um, yeah, walk away, and in the future, start, go after that new idea, manifest the fuck out of your reality, work hard, and be the king, use that energy you have to turn off your emotions you know um it's just thoughts right be the king okay so yeah the, the tower is coming down over here we've got somebody walking away but internally they're happy um yeah externally you're balanced but internally the tower is falling okay so for the hopes and fears for the female ooh, the devil so this is that um excessive something so um, it could be too much drinking too much uh, drugs gambling it could also be a codependent relationship so your hopes and fear would is this situation so I guess either your fear is that this situation will lock you in somehow and you'll be chained and bound to somebody else um, or that you hope to be free of this and Judging from the car below it, below it um, you want to be free of the situation, I'm thinking. You want to walk away. Or, I, I don't know. All right, so, I'm not going to, yeah, that's why I don't like doing the card shuffle like this, because I know this card is going to show its face, but it's, it has to be done spontane spontaneously. Okay, so for the hopes and fear for the male, uh, it's the full card. So he wants to be free. He wants to go off on his own, um, start something new, let uh, you know, just walk off the side of the cliff, just let it happen. So that's what he hopes for. I can't see how that would be a fear, you know, being free and on your own. Okay, so uh, for the outcome for the female, ooh, ten of pentacles. So this is your retirement is assured. So you've worked really hard. You've built up a foundation. You have um, a happy family surrounding you. Uh, you're, you, you're just satisfied in the 3D world. So that's a wicked outcome. Ten of pentacles, awesome. And for the male, the outcome is... Oh, wow. It's the last card in the deck for the Major Arcanas. It is the major completion of the cycle. You, it's the end of the Fool's Journey. So this is the beginning of the Fool's Journey is the Fool card. And then that's the end. So you've come through a major, major cycle and um, you're done. You're done. You've learned all that you you need to learn. You've gone through all your trials and tribulations and you've come out a, win a winner so that reef is a victory um, success uh, yeah so what am I getting here All right, let me just have a look at it yeah guys I can't really see much more to the the reading that I've already haven't already told you um, it's just interesting how there's 
dualities going on between the two sides here. It's like over here there's like a happy ending, over here there's a tower, uh, over here there's a feeling of being chained and bound uh, in, a, in a situation, and then over here it's like complete freedom. Up here is a completion card, and over here is a completion card. And down here it's like balance and then imbalance. Yeah, very neat. Okay, hope this helped. Love you guys. Cheers.